G'day everybody, and welcome back for some more ACS modding. It's been a while. I managed to get a fair bit of the boring, uh, in note padding stuff working. Uh, I did a lot of that this morning. I spent about four hours or so doing various bits and pieces on that. With this little spreadsheet being the result, I've managed to record... I've managed to create spawn groups for the easy and medium versions of all of the current ships for both atmospheric and space, including some specific variants for some of the ships that have a slightly nastier medium group, so they'll have a few more uh, fighters that come along with them when they spawn. Then I've also started prepping this thing for what I'm going to do today. Which is creating the thus the th 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 the thruster carrying versions of these ships. So, a while back, you guys might remember me talking about how I wanted to make it so that there was a reason to go after these ships other than the materials that they're made of. And the reason that I came up with that I liked the most was giving them a unique block that you can't build that they have that you want. And I didn't want it to be super overpowered, I just wanted it to be enough that, yeah, I might try and build my whole ship out of these thrusters, so I'm going to keep my piracy going and keep trying to find how many, how good I can get at this piracy process. So what my plan is with this is, with the help of Gruzob, who is working on and has pretty much got ready to go, a mod that creates a thruster that looks exactly the same as the vanilla ones, which is desirable because that's kind of what we want. Or pretty much exactly the same. Uh, just with a different flame colour. That meets all those requirements. So it'll be a dependency for the mod, maybe. Or it'll be an optional add-on and if you have that add-on, then these ships will spawn. So what I need to do is create ships at least for this first rendition, create ships that carry a whole thruster block as cargo. So yeah. I uh, might have chosen a poor ship to start off with, but it's the ship that's on the top of my list, so I was just going to work my way down. Uh, that might have been a mistake. Because this is a personnel carrier and I don't know that it's got any room interiorly to fit. Thanks, Sif. <laughs> 20 months. Yep, closing in on that two-year mark. Yeah, the Manta would probably be the easier place to start. You're right, Eisen. Um, but I kind of... Ultimately, I'd like to have a version for all the different uh, ships so that you won't know until you get up to the ship whether it has one of these thrusters or not. So, you have to take on more ships than you will get reward back, even if you do manage to capture every single one. Um, so, how might I work this one out? I mean, you may still be able to know, because I'll have, probably have to alter the exterior of some ships like this one in order to carry a completed thruster. Yeah, yeah, Bandler, just stick it on the outside with duct tape. <laughs> that could work. Uh, now, I noticed a comment before I went proper live uh, about Survival Impossible. It's going to be returning very soon. Um, let's just copy this. I'm going to try and gut it from underneath and see what I can do. Uh, no, Dracua, that is not what I'm doing. It is only going to be piracy, and that is not something I'm going to change. Piracy is going to be the only way to get these blocks. I do not want them to be mineable at all, no matter how much effort you put into the mining. Um, so it's this is this is what this block is for. It is for being pirated. So it won't ever be something that you can make on your own. 
basically the the idea behind it was to encourage what I was trying to encourage by adding our oh, scrap to my game. Um, which is use merge blocks to add stuff you find to your ship. Because that makes for an interesting engineering challenge in a game that's supposed to be about engineering. So I kind of like that. Which is where this concept kind of came out of. If I get rid of this clone bay over here. And that's three blocks long. We go out to here. That's five blocks long. Whoops. Popped through the roof again. So if that's five blocks long, I can put a thruster in there that should be able to be removed. And I could probably do the same on the other side. And then just modify the interior to fit within the space that remains. So we've still got the cockpit in the middle. Yeah, let's start with this and see where it takes us. Let's see if I can fit... Let's see if I can start working out ways to have thrusters held on that look interesting, because I haven't even really messed with the concept yet as such. Ooh. And with the update that's coming tomorrow, I'll have armor plate, so I might be able to hide these even better. Yeah. That's an idea. So I just heard something clang. <laughs> yeah, no more catwalk plates. Never again. Things like this will be done by choice, not need. Something's seriously clanging in there. Thanks, El Bud Bud. Okay, let's get rid of those because they're not going to be accessible. Get rid of that table. And it's through here. Oops. Ah, remote control. <laughs> okay, that can stay shut. Okay, so let's start off with... Since this is an Atmo ship, I'm going to want this to be an Atmo thruster that we're giving the player. go. Merge block. Merge block. And then thruster. Then we can start working around it and see what we can actually fit in here that might look good. I'm sure over time I'm going to work out nicer ways to do this. Uh, let's just, because I haven't got the mod yet, let's use a, let's use a fluoro green. That's a color I never use. No way I'll remember to hopefully remember to replace those blocks later with the modded block. Yeah, Dracula, it'd be nice if they'd go back and give us some more variants on these. Like give them the stair variants as well. So we could use them or the DLC ones. Oh well. It is what it is. Okay. So I've got that in the middle. I probably want to try and shape around this area a little bit at least.
I suppose I could at least maybe start with that sort of shape. Because then the merge block should still technically function. I won't put all of these on merge blocks. I just thought it would work for this particular ship design. Actually, where's that? That one. Let's try this shape. sure I like this any more than the other shape. Like than the old corner piece. Oh no, it actually does have a benefit. Because it goes right to the this far corner. So I don't end up with a flat shape to then put another block on top. So this will make it make more sense when I don't have anything on this row visually make it more make more sense yeah i mean i can i can understand from a business perspective why you wouldn't add lots of extra blocks to a vanilla variant when you're trying to sell the dlc ones that you're making but it does also make me feel a bit oh a bit disappointed that that's what they might have based the decision off. <laughs> yeah, guys, and this could double as a bomb bay. Uh, what if go to? There's a shape I can use from here. Nope. Just trying to think of something I could do to bring it down. Hmm. Let's get rid of this side and try and do it a bit differently. Instead of having those blocks I used. Oh, I kind of have to use... Dang it, I do. Like, I could use that. Or I can use... That. But I can't use anything that's going to go fully up against this merge block because then it won't work. Could I raise one more block though? If I do, then I'll be chopping into the roof. And the merge block's already up in that level, so I don't really think I can. Maybe I can do this. Yeah, that's the shape I was thinking of doing before. Something like this. That looks a bit nicer. Pretty sure that'll still work. And the reason I'm... There is a reason I'm wanting to do this asymmetrically. Asymmetrically? Uh, it's just to be a bit different. Uh, hmm... Uh, no, Msesh. The Kerbal Space Program thing is only ever going to be edited. There is way too much downtime in that game to stream it. Uh, 
And the slim landing gear wouldn't work here because that creates a subgrid, not a regular same grid. So it's not an option to use a landing gear to latch this thing on. I think what I should do <coughs> is maybe bring something down from here along the side and then try and create something that looks like it could open up. Or maybe even put some airtight hanger doors on or something. Nope, same deal. If I edit it for my main channel, Amsesh, I don't post the original recordings. Because then what would be the point of doing the edited version? Uh, the editing series like that allows me to do stuff that I wouldn't ever do on a stream because it's too slow. For stream content. Like Survival Impossible. Uh, maybe that does work. I can see some people clanging this out when they try and take it out, though. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah, it'll be heavy with the airtight doors, I know. Um, oh, hang on, maybe, maybe I can... Instead of using three, what if we just use two of them? One there. one here. Just doing this roughly for now and then I can finesse it after. that'd work. And it'd reduce the number I need by two for the ship. Um, yeah, I guess the gate could also work here, but I feel like the gate's a bit too gigantic and also weighs more than the airtight hang at all. By a lot. Like these two will weigh less than a single gate. So yeah, they're, they're huge. And th these gates are good for stations, I'm not. Or like a hangar bay. But for a cargo bay that's facing downward, I feel like they're a bit... They're clearly very designed very much designed to be orientated, aligned to gravity uh, with a specific orientation rather than flexible like these airtight hangar doors are. Uh, in fact, I should really change this up and move this up to here. And move this one. Uh, let's use those. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, actually, I could have that back in. Because then I can put the other airtight hangar door up here. And that makes more sense. Yes, these Atmo thrusters are a placeholder for a modded thruster that will be getting added to this. Uh, what I'm thinking I'll doing, do is just have one of them, but this other cargo bay I'll make to match this one, but it won't have the thruster. Um, just so that I'm not giving two thrusters with this particular ship, as most of the ships I'm planning on just having a single special thruster on them. Uh, 
does this look? Kind of works. This block needs to change up, but get that and then do that followed by the, which piece here? Probably that one. It's about as good a transition as I think I can do for this section. Yeah, Alchema, I think getting the thruster out will be difficult. Uh, but that's okay. If you have to grind your way around it, that's fine. But it could also be hilarious. Um, particularly if, say, I'm playing with Kapak and he doesn't realize that dropping the merge block off will cause this to clang out. Um... He may try and turn off this merge block or grind this merge block first, causing this thruster to just clang out hard and explode the whole thing. Which could be hilarious. It could be disastrous and frustrating, but it could also be hilarious. And I never know which one it's going to be until it happens. There we go. I think that kind of works. I'm wishing I hadn't deleted the stairs that were under this. Because now I'm going to have to copy them back from the other ship. But I think this works. Um, yeah, Alchemer, I'm not planning on doing any sort of booby trapping other than, you know design element related stuff uh, so nothing nothing that's actually a booby trap I'm still not sure how I feel about this block I think that works a bit better. Yeah, that's that's much neater. <laughs> uh yeah, could put a decoy in the other bay. One of the things I realized I did with this design that I am quite happy about is I've actually left room to put a light in here. Just handy. Put a light in at both ends because I left a block clear. So I can put some interesting lighting in behind these hangar doors. I mean, as well as all this space around here that I've got. But I might fill that in with some armor. The modded thruster is about 15% more powerful while being a similar percentage more power efficient. So you use less power and you get more thrust. So if, you're, if you've got this mod on, say, a server, it gives an incentive for people to build their ships with them because they'll be able to get to top speed quicker. They'll be able to fly for longer with a lot less power used. So you'll be able to get, you know, heaps. 
you'll be able to get more out of it. And there's the potential that people might want to even trade an ion type for an atmo type or things like that if they want to start doing that sort of thing. Um, and yes, they will most certainly be turned off in the, uh, <laughs> in the designs because they're almost all going to be in a position where they would cause damage if they got turned on. And that would not be good. Okay, let's build the other side out. This block. Now I'm kind of wishing I did this with symmetry mode on. Because I'm a dope and I always forget about using symmetry mode. I did not. And then hang it all here. Oh yeah, they that's true, Alchemy. They could be below functional. Cause being um being below functional. Oh, should I put a little piece in this corner bit? Hmm. Tempted to put a little piece in here. It's on this one? No. Should be this one then. here. Is that better or worse? Maybe better. Uh, yeah, Zero Dot, I'm not going to update all of the ships. Uh, some of them will get a bit of a buff and a polish. And a few little changes to them, but uh, a lot of the ships will remain unchanged from current because they look good as they are. At least I think they do. So I'm not I'm not planning on changing them all, but I am planning on doing this treatment to all of them so that they can all carry thruster variants. Going back to this. Yeah. This works. <laughs> Decoy cargo for secondary cargo bay. Provided in case of run-ins with inspectors. Yes, something like that. Uh, have I got decoys on my bar anyway? I doubt I do. Okay, so I got a decoy in one bay and the thruster in the other. That decoy is going to help this thing survive a lot more. So I think there might be another decoy in the back. Yeah, there it is. Just snuck in there to try and take out this, get this thruster taken out first. Now, what was the original stair design? Catwalk stairs, and then windows, and then railings. Okay. Where are my windows? Not on here. So 
So it was that and that, and then we gotta grind them down. Like so. And then just for a little bit of deco. Yeah. Nice little landing stairs that are at the perfect height. And then we've got to do a whole lot of decoration inside to make this thing work. <laughs> oh, fair enough, Dracoa. You didn't mean a literal decoy. Uh, but, you know, it still works. <laughs> it's yet another uh, clang possibility. In fact, this ship... This ship might get a little... Oh, if I do a lot of these with merge blocks, can you guys remind me once the update is dropped? Because apparently it's supposed to have a big red button. We're going to have a big red button to unlock these merge blocks and just make this thing, well, detonate because of Clang. Uh, what did I do on the other side? I might put a, like a door in here, actually. So we have a cargo bay inspection door. Uh, where are my doors? So if you have an offset door there, then you can kind of awkwardly walk around there and here. But if I use one of the new passageway blocks, possibly even just that one, now that vent is gone. <laughs> Oh, you can walk here. I could have also used, um, like, I, mean, I could use anything there, lockers, whatever else. But these, I do like these passageway blocks. All uh, right, let's. Um. Yeah, let's turn on symmetry mode and I'll start deleting and replacing blocks because I think that's going to be the quickest way to do this. Okie dokie, we've done the outside, now we just need to do the inside. Oops, got rid of the thruster. That'll probably make my life easier, actually, so it's probably not a bad thing. I'm just going to check if this is actually... Yeah, it's getting placed. Good. I wasn't sure I was going to be anchored if I had... If I had accidentally deleted some extra blocks on the other side. Yeah, I was thinking of using the corner one, and then I saw the side one, and I liked it, so I used it instead. I'm going to have to fill that hole in at some point. How are we looking? Goodbye, gun. Give me the ammo. Hmm. I feel like I want to... 
use maybe just these blocks down along the sides, not slopes. So there will be this lip, because then in theory you could walk around. Uh, see, there's a reason I won't add stuff like a dead capac in every ship. It's, a, it's something I've brought up a few times during these streams in the past, which is jokes like that are, for, are funny for a short period of time and then they kind of get old, I find. Um, like, it'll be funny the first time Capac finds one of his own dead clones, but then he'll stop reacting to it and it'll just be a bit old. So I, I like to try and um, avoid those things Unless they're subtle enough, like the some of the funnier uh, data pads that I put around the place, because they're at least something you have to actively seek out, so it's not quite so bad. So there is one ship that does have dead, slightly Capac-esque clones. Uh, but there, there won't be multiple. So I'm generally not a fan of it. Okay. Go away. There we go. We can actually get around the thruster. Cool. The other side look right. It does. Hooray! I think I saved myself time by actually using the uh, symmetry mode. Oh, I don't want that in green. No, thank you. And there. Uh, where did I get up to in chat? Previous trading station. Wait, the, yeah, the thruster would damage the battery, but it'll be off. Um, so it's not a worry. The idea of having bays like that with hydro tanks, oxygen tanks, and connector as a hauler. Yeah, I kind of wish... I'd, I'd really like it if there was a three block long tank with a connection in the middle and no connection on either end. Because then you'd be able to build things like that. Like a, a bay like this that has a nice little tank in it. Um, but with the way we have tanks, it'd have to be five blocks long, which ends up getting to an awkward and kind of unwieldy size. Of course, if you use connectors, you could use small grid and make it something compact and look decent anyway. Uh, hey, Matcha. Thanks so much. 20... Two months. Yep. I think you're equal longest with a couple of others with 22 months. Getting very, very close to that two-year mark. Uh, n no, Power Cane, I don't bother too much about naming stuff unless it's stuff I'm going to mess with. Uh, actively. It, like, it is best practice to name your blocks as you put them in, but it's also something that I get away without doing 99% of the time. Uh, it's occasionally an issue, but 99% of the time it's a non-issue, so in the grand scheme of things, I probably save myself time. Probably. Probably. Right. 
So that block has to stay. These blocks have to stay. So I've kind of got this much space left for decoration. Which is not a lot. Hmm. Slightly tempted to place this passageway with the corner block or replace this corner block with the passageway. And I forgot to turn off symmetry because I don't want it on anymore. So once I'm in decoration mode, I don't like it. Let's try this corner one. Where's the corner? Uh, actually, we could do... Get rid of this light. Potentially even get rid of that one because these are normal interior lights so they can throw light a long way. Thanks, Cody. Thanks for the prime sub. Yeah, Alchemy. My plan is just to have the boosted thrusters, that's all. Um, I'm not planning on adding any extra variations on that theme. Part of the reason I'm sticking to just that is time. Um, Grozob's doing... Why can't I place that? Okay, I'm so confused. Why did this work? In Escape from Purgatory, but it doesn't work here. Huh? What was it attaching to in Escape from Purgatory? Or did it have some sort of messed with attachments? Maybe it did. Maybe that's not a vanilla attachment to be able to attach on top of the stairs. So, the reason I switched out these from the other design is... This is now taking up this square and the square above the stairs instead of taking up this side and this side. So now I've got a bit more room to play with the decorative stuff. Uh, and I do need to place a turret somewhere here. I would like to place a turret somewhere here, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, let's first figure out where a bed's going to go. And then start working in the other stuff from there. Uh, yeah, Eisen, arguably I could make this not look like an overnight ship. But so many of my other ones do. In fact, let's knock out that wall. So that gives me a fair bit of extra space. Get rid of that block there and replace it with... But I don't have... Oh, no, I do. One going that way. Now we get a bit more room. Nice and open. I think a lot of I think some of the other cargo ships will take very little time to mess around with and uh, update to give them this variant, but some like this one will take a bit longer due to them really not being designed in a way that suits this sort of refit. What if I put that there? Pop this out. And put... Armory in there. Or actually I could put bathroom in there. Uh, bathroom is under that one. Uh, 
it's it's weird how effective a few blocks change can alter how a space feels. Uh, let's go darker because these were before and see how that feels. Then I'd like to have a kitchen. Yeah, maybe we'll get a bar in there. Actually, let's go with freight here. I feel like I don't use those enough. In fact, uh, let's go with a yellowish color for them. Ah, oh, no, that's right. Oops. Oh dear. Um, do a quick reload, because that fixing that paint mistake is going to take a lot of time. Uh Drat. <sighs> How far back am I? Not uh, not too far. Uh, I'm also not sure how I feel about it being the dark grey. It's all pretty dark in here at the moment. Uh, let's increase the range on these lights. Now these ones were slightly blue tinged. And intensity comes down. Okay, that feels a bit different. This still feels good with the orange. Yeah, I should have been using the paint gun. That was a rookie error on my part. lose that door, lose that rail, uh, and allow that to float three, float free. Bathroom there. Shower there. Why can't I place the shower? There was stuff in that locker, wasn't there? Shower there. Sliding door here. Then... bed there with sci-fi interior wall there okay now I can also place the corner light there And I think these can now be reduced down to maybe there. Because I've got more lights. Thanks, Smiggles Tech. Ten months up. Uh. So I decided to put the bed facing this way because then 
there's a bit more privacy for it. And it allowed me to keep this block free so that this light could be placed. If I flip the bed around, um, it to me it feels too exposed to the main entry stairwell. So that's why I decided to put it that way around. I think I think it works better this way. Like if it's around that way, you kind of roll out of bed down the stairs <laughs> and break something. Uh, and this way would feel all right if I could put a railing against it, but again, then I'd lose my light. So I think uh, I think I like it that way best. Now I've got a fairly open floor without any, yes, with three entryways that I have to deal with, but, or four entryways, because I got this one, this one, this one, and this one, but still a bit more room to fiddle with and make things work. Um, why is that not the combo block? Weird. Um, lockers. Yeah, this works. <laughs> yeah, they go right back to sleep on impact. Uh, let's put... Kitchen. Uh, actually, no, I don't think that helps. I think that's worse. Just a single chair, and then what else can we decorate this space with? In fact, I've probably got room in here to. Oh, it's a single, it's a single person ship. There's only one. Well, it's a single person awake ship or single person sleeping because there's only one berth. And what other things we got? I could put a couch in. But I can't think of a way that it doesn't look weird. <laughs> yes. Welcome to Grand Space Grand Designs with Kevin McSplitzy. I do feel like that sometimes. Not complaining, but it is what I feel like sometimes. Oh. Oh. Did not immediately appreciate that that window is attached to this. There you go. Window's back. don't know what to do with this space. Perhaps I could do some armory lockers here in front of this door. Kind of close that bit off. The cockpit was closed off before. I could sort of do that again um, by putting in some more storage racks. Do that. Maybe, again, move 
move this back over here, even though I moved it just before. Oh! Uh, something I had forgotten I could use. side uh the yeah the passageways oh no, I think that I'm not sure the passageways will do the right thing that we're after here. Um. I was just thinking if I put the lab behind the I go lab there. Pilot seat here. Then I've forgotten about the kitchen. Oh man. Kitchen. Sort of works. And there was a light up here. Which is apparently not attached to the ship. Even though I swear it is. It is a separate grid again. How? Because that piece is a separate grid. Right. Let's try this again. So, I was it was suggested to me in a comment recently, and I've really liked the idea. Use center of mass check to see whether things are separate grids. Because you'll get a separate little marker for it. There we go. Now it's one grid. So if you're ever in doubt as to whether you've got multiple grids going on, just turn that on and you'll see. Splitsy meet the completion deadline will the angry truckers like his work? Of course the angry truckers will like my work. I give them lots of decorative pretty spaces to live in. With bathrooms that look like they've actually got lighting. Uh, I forgot about a turret. I guess we're not having one. Get rid of that corner piece and put it up here on the ceiling, I guess. Hmm. Uh, 
no, there were no submissions for the drones for ACS. I've made them all myself because I had very, very, very restrictive ideas in mind for how the drones were going to work. So I didn't want to have to write that out in a um, submission guideline. So it was all in aid of me not having to put that work into writing one. It's hard enough to come up with a clear guideline for the cargo ship submissions, let alone having to do it for the drones as well. Yeah. I think I'm... I think I'm okay with this one. So that's the bison. Uh, let's just get empty list, floating objects, and delete everything. Uh, yeah, I know some people prefer having more space before they get to the stairs, but these are compact builds. By nature, you're going to have some things that are slightly uncomfortable and not necessarily optimal. But it's just what it is. Now, where on earth was my build checklist? Because I may as well do that while I'm here. Mods, combat systems. Build checklist, there it is. <laughs> that first step would have been uh, problematic had I not realized with those the light not working. Okay, cut. And paste. Excellent. Does it have a remote control? I believe it does because I did not remove it. It does. Does it have a gyroscope? It has two at the rear. Antenna, range, and name should still be set the same. It is still the bison. And it's still 7,500 meters. Um, the guns are all the same because I haven't touched them. The ammo should still be the same for the guns. I feel like I might try and maybe sneak a turret in here. Yeah. It's unlikely to catch anyone, but and again, I've probably thought that about other turrets that have managed to kill me and Kapak. And many others. Turn off idle movement and range can be just 120 meters. There we go. Sneaky turret. I could put... <laughs> I'm almost tempted to stick one on the decoy. Because <laughs> I could attach one to it. Right there. <laughs> Should I do it? What do you reckon, chat? Have one sticking out from the decoy bay? So, as soon as, so if... Uh... Oh, I could set up a sensor to open these bay doors. Hmm. Uh, sensor, is that on this? Yes. And turn that thing into up too. Sensor. 
going hard. Two cents of field range. Uh, let's do it this way. Okay, with spectator, I can see it all. Bring that back so that that's about there. Right can also come back a little bit. Bottom extent's not really needed. Top extent needs to come out further. Proximity alert off, because Capac loves to be aware of that. And let's go detect small grid and large grid ships as well. Okay. So now I can grab these two. And on entry, open. There we go. That'll be a sneaky little turret suddenly showing up. going to show locking terminal off. Oh no, show on HUD I wanted to turn off. <laughs> yeah, Alchemist, that would require another sensor to make it so that it would close you in. Because you'd have to deactivate the sensor that was opening it. There we go. I reckon that looks pretty good from underneath. From every other perspective, it looks identical pretty much to the original bison. So at the ranges that you tend to engage these things, it's going to be pretty hard to pick which one you're coming in on. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. Maybe if I alter the other one a bit, but maybe I don't need it to be that hard. I'll leave it for now. Uh, right, so where are we up to? Now I need to check the grid name. Uh, and I need to do random minor loot as well. Bison troop transport. Uh, I'll just do... I'll, for all these variants, I think I'm just going to do dash T. The thruster carrier. There's no point in me exporting this yet. But... Can I actually... Click OK then. Yep. Uh, let's go add some loot to it. I've got stuff on? Yeah, I do. What have I got to put in the bed? Sure. That'll do. Let's give a med kit and a couple of coffees. And maybe a drill. And a rifle with two magazines. 
And Cola in the pilot seat. A little bit of silver that's basically meaningless, but still makes it look like there's stuff in there. And why not put a bit of organic matter? Yep. <laughs> I put a lot of data pads in the beds. Because you can't put anything else in there, pretty much. Uh, and so the ones that are often in the beds are often these book entries. So Eisen actually wrote a whole bunch of little chapters and segments for this particular purpose. So like someone was, as though someone was reading in bed. Which I think is a nice little bit of flavor that I can add to these ships that makes them unique. Uh, a lot of the other ones are very specific stories, so I have to pick which ships they go in. But those ones are nice because I can just go put them anywhere and they work. And you can eventually collect the whole set. Cool. Uh, that should be all I need to do for this one. Now, do I go and do, try and do this to the bubbly Bertha, or do I try and find Jackson's drone so I can start putting together the hard versions of these ships? I think his drone that I, the first one that was going to go in, I think might not need much work. So let's go to the bubbly Bertha. Thanks, Robob. And Bubbly Bertha. Uh, Iron Sheep, the turrets are all manual. Um, uh, sorry, are all auto-targeted. There's no manual control unless you're in the pilot seat. Uh, so these are, and these are all NPC ships, so they will all be auto-targeting and shooting you. Now the bubbly. It was pretty cramped, if I recall. I wonder if this is even going to be possible with this ship. Oh, actually, this could be quite easy. Because I could just replace these three cargo containers, get rid of this bend, and stick a thruster in there. Yeah. Let's see how it looks. Let's try it. Gonna detach stuff if I do that the whole way, aren't I? Hmm. I think it needs to sit in there, doesn't it? needs to sit in there what we'll do is that then I won't lose those blocks when I pop that off <coughs> ah, what's up with my voice this afternoon it's rather annoying oops got rid of my fluoro green so that goes in there 
Uh, no, the lights won't be holding it because the lights are on a curved block and it, the curved block doesn't have any attachments at that point. The glass is actually holding the lights on. Um, weirdly enough. So there we go. That's kind of neat. And I could even, if I wanted to, just to make it neater. Have it completely hidden in there. So with the bubbly Bertha, it would be very, very difficult to tell which one you're attacking. Yeah, I think I think sometimes I'm going to have to go with the simple approach here. It's always tempting to make things more complicated and try and make it that much more detailed, but is there anything wrong with this? Is there any reason I shouldn't do this this way? I, I, I don't think there is. Uh, something I should do, though, is show on HUD and rename these thrusters to needs to be replaced. So I'll know when I go through these ship designs. Oh, wrong side. There we go. Cool. That's the bubbly Bertha done. That was quick. <laughs> I, yes, the thruster damage will be a thing, but these thrusters will not be on. They will be off. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, info bubbly bertha dash p. Okay. Uh, let's delete this bison over here. So I just keep the versions of the ships that I've actually done. All right. Ooh, the bulldog. This one's going to be interesting. Oh wait, no. It's got, it's got little pods. I'll just replace one of them. So for this one, we replace one of these cargo drop pods with a thruster drop pod. Ooh, this could be a bit more of a fun one to try and design too. So I've got a bit more space to work with. So if I start with, let's just build this free floating for a bit. Got that, and then I can surround this in sort of a cage. Yeah, exactly. Alchemera cage. A containment cage. That's exactly what I was thinking. Um, how best? To do. Uh, Yeah, Power Cane, I was thinking of doing, um, replacing the, whatchamacallit, uh, I was thinking of just replacing one thruster on the ship in a random spot and making a few different versions that all have it in a different spot, but I felt like that would be kind of annoying for the player. I feel like this is a bit more interesting because you've got a little bit more control over what you're going to do. Um, because they'll actually be carried as cargo and they'll look special then. It makes it clear that this is something unique. This is something you can do. 
Or is it something you do something with? And I, I quite like that idea. I feel like this is working. that maybe though I probably need to grab some of these to put a cage on each end Something something that those of you who've watched me play Seven Days to Die when I've been talking about some of the changes to it and liking them, not liking them, etc. would know that I really like having little story elements in what I do, uh, what I play. And to me, what I'm doing with these thrusters being set up this way is making them a little story element. There's something that's different. Um, there's something that you go oh oh so that's what they're doing with it so with the bubbly bertha the reason it's quite a simple one is you can actually see this is the cargo pod there are three cargos on this side and then you look at this side it's the same deal, except... Oh, it's carrying a thruster. Ooh. Uh, yeah, Consti, exactly. Environmental storytelling. I wonder what this would look like ground down. So why is that one popped out and that one's not? Yet, yeah, both of those are... What? Where? What? Uh, oh, I think I know what. Because these are weird blocks. How do I... Can I not do that? Can I... Oh yeah, that's what I want. That's better. Now it matches the others. I'm not sure how I feel about the top of this yet, but we'll try a different shape for the bottom and see if it looks any better. Because I could go something flat. Something a bit shorter and stumpier like this. A bit more low profile. But I'm still going to need to have the top be taller. Huh. <laughs> it kind of looks interesting being asymmetrical. Hmm. Let's try taking those out and see what it looks like if I do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's there's leaving things up to the imagination, but there's make there's encouraging people to ask questions too. So you've got on the one hand you've you've got like this ship. I've thrown some cargo containers there. I've got a ship that's got a, a tag on it. You can come up with your own story of how this comes together. I haven't written something that's a rigid script but there's enough little pieces there that it kind of leads you to think that there is a story there that it's not 
just an empty placeholder. And that's kind of the key difference, is trying to make it so that it's not just an empty placeholder. In fact, were these even most blocked on? They are. Okay. I think this would have to stick like this to fit in there. Yeah, because those blocks are occupied. So that would be the module. Yeah, I'm not on board with this. Not a fan. Uh, let's try it again. No, Alchemar, it can't be tucked up more. Because the merge block is completely clear and it's also completely surrounded by blocks. So it can't be up any higher. I mean, yeah, I can't have these slopes around the merge block because then I'd have to delete the slopes around the merge block here on the ship. And some of those are actually holding on functional blocks like that gyroscope. So it's not an option. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Alex, that's kind of where the inspiration, that's kind of the basic design that I used, which was for that antenna in the last Escape from Purgatory. It's a fairly straightforward design, just with a rotor and a hinge uh, that I've now used three times. On the asteroid base, in Survival Impossible, on the station base. And now on the moon base. But it's because it's such, like, you can't really improve on that design. It's just neat and tidy. out there. Just heard something thud outside my room. That's on my shed. And because I've got these thrusters on these pods and those thrusters are actually somewhat needed for this ship to stay aloft. So if I include them in the design from the outset maybe I'll figure out a shape that's going to work better. room in front and behind. I don't have room in front. I do have room behind. Uh, but then I wouldn't have room if I put it on this one. Because I'm hemmed in by the turret and by the large thruster. So I should probably try not to do things like this which don't actually fit. Yeah, it is looking a little bit like a drone. Can't have those blocks there. Oh, there's no corresponding block to go between these two. Here it's... Closest you got is something like this. Not that one. Uh, this one. Hmm. 
Yep. Yep. It's just gonna be that, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying about the kiss principle, but it doesn't necessarily apply when you're designing for aesthetics. Everything simple doesn't always work for making things look good. So, maybe this is looking okay. Try this out. And grab my color palette from over here. It's actually a bit grayer. And then my yellow. Call it a Soviet design, it'll pass. Uh. Uh, yeah, Xeranaut, there might be things like that we can do, not for this mod, but just in general playing uh, with the flat landing gear and flat armor pieces, there are going to be a lot of new design elements opening up. And a lot of new design options available to us. I think that looked better when these were opened. Something about being able to see through that made it more interesting to me. Something like that. Certainly looks different. trying to decide whether I like the bottom of it or whether I'd be better off making the bottom fat again. Uh, yeah, Alex, the stuff I'm talking about is supposed to be in the update that they're streaming at 3am my time. So in like 11 hours. I think this works. The only thing I might be tempted to try, let's just copy this so that I can test it without destroying it. Getting rid of those bits. I think I like having them on there. There's there's something, although not actually functional in this way, but interesting and slightly hinting at uh, some aer aerodynamics of having this facing forward and actually having airflow able to go through it. Ah, uh, yeah, zero nut. I will not be staying up for the stream. Um, if for the really big updates, I've gone along to those keen streams, uh, but this wouldn't fit that category. 
3 a.m. is just rough. It totally ruins my next day, and I've got heaps of work to do. I'd prefer to not stay up. Uh, instead, get to bed early and then wake up early and stream for you guys in the morning, which I might do. Uh, but I've also got to do some recording. Yeah, exactly. I can see it's always a weekday. It's always Thursday, like crazy early morning for us here in, on the east coast of Oz. If I was over on the west coast of Australia, it wouldn't be as bad because I could just stay up late to watch the beginning of it. Now, do I want to have lights on this? I don't have lights on these ones. But I might put a light on this. I should prefer a vertical horizontal. And let's go that. Alrighty. Time to remove this and drop it in. Where did that come from? Oh, that must have been in the cargo container. Did not remember putting stuff in it. Oops. Now I wonder if this is going to let me paste it as one piece. Or if I'm going to have to... Put the merge block down first. Yeah. I like that we can do this now, that we can paste bits inside other grids. If they'll fit. That was a nice change, and one that I didn't immediately notice that Keen did. Let's make this more orange. Yeah. Uh, yes, at least it wasn't 10,000 data pads. That would have been annoying again. Yeah, Zero Knot, they really have been um, putting a few int a few nice quality of life updates in. It's, it's nice. There we go. We have a... Uh, we now have a version for this. And I'm just going to quickly... Nope, wrong side again. Every time. Go and copy the settings from this one so I can paste it over there. Because believe it or not, that's probably quicker than me typing it. Cool. Uh, that's three out of 36 atmospheric ships done uh that's progress for any of the ones that are hanging i can probably use this design and re just reuse it rather than coming up with a brand new one every time uh maybe hopefully yeah eisen a large grid antenna that fits in a single block 
would basically obsolete this antenna, I think. But one that was a single block and long would be fantastic. What would be really cool would actually be... Where is it? If we had an antenna, where's the space I can use over here? If we had an antenna that we could place on the end of that, that transitioned well from pillars to an antenna. Imagine your biggest ships you build that you really want to have a nice, huge antenna because that's what so many sci-fi looking ships have. You could do it with this because you can place it out and then have the actual functional antenna on the end of it. Even though that's totally not helpful for combat, it would look nice and it'd be great if we could have it. It'd just be, yeah. I'd really like an antenna that worked in that setting. That would be very cool. All right, I'm going to load in the buzzard, which is the next one. And we'll have a quick look at it, see if it's going to be a long one or if it should be a quick one. in this thing. Just inside this door. Yeah, this one's a simple one. Okay, maybe not. Didn't realise how much of it was exposed to the outside. Is it the same on this side? It is. Huh. Okay. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Might go with... Uh, that. Then our thruster. Then I can work out what I want to put around here. Uh, yeah, Eisen, all of these ships got thrust tested. Uh, the Buzzard can fly at up to 1.2 Gs, which is the one I'm looking at. The Bulldog can fly at 2.02, .02, the Bubbly Bertha at 1.69, and the Bison at 1.28. I have them all written down. Yay. That's actually a thing I did. remembered to do for once. It's above this. No, oh, empty space. Okay. Doesn't matter then what I put here. of mag boots so I can do what I did with the earlier one chip and put in an offset door here so then behind this door is the thruster and everybody's favorite friend a 
a turret. And we enable turn idle movement off, reduce this to something short, give it some ammo. Kind of all I need to do to that. Maybe put a light down here. Give it some interesting lighting from underneath. Let's match to the colour outside. Yeah. So now, when you get on board this ship, uh, when you're trying to capture it, this should be... I think this kind of works. Having it just attached by the interior wall block. It looks like it's kind of locked down in place by that, even though it's not a merge block. So I might use that as my standard attachment for where I can't fit a pair of merge blocks for the uh, extra special I want to steal these thrusters. put these in and then when we get the armor plate I might cover that conveyor or just not care I'm not sure which one of these things will happen cool that worked that was relatively quick and painless Four down. Might be about this. Uh, info dash T. I think I forgot to do that here. Um, yeah, Alchemara probably could make it airtight, but these are all atmospheric ships, so I'm not fussed on them being airtight. In fact, I don't think a lot of the spaceships are airtight either. I strongly suspect that there are many holes throughout the rest of this thing anyway. Plus there's no uh, atmospheric subsystem to actually pressurize it anyway. Okie dokie. Then we have the Callisto. I feel like this one might be a bit more of a challenge. Maybe. Uh, oh no. Again we got the cargo pod. The cargo at the front. So if I removed this one. I want the turret there, I'm going to have to leave that. So let's start with grabbing these. Run those lines through. And then maybe... Use the same trick I did before with the interior wall block. And then put our thruster underneath. That should be all... Oh, I doubt that'll be all, but it'll be close to it. Hey, Nabarin. How's it going? Thanks for the raid. Did you want... Uh, 
Oh, uh... <laughs> yeah, Talos, I'm ready for the heavy industry update. Um... I'm looking forward to some new block shapes to play with. Eh, get in there. But then I'm always looking for new block shapes to play with that are not modded. That's a weird thrust override. Hopefully that's not going to cause problems. Uh, let's put these in. I think these will do the trick for making this feel right. So obviously that thruster is not going to be green when it's done. It's just being left green until I have the modded thruster to replace it with the thruster that you're all going to be trying to capture uh, as part of giving a bit of a goal to the mod. Uh, and I could probably just underneath do this. That, and then let's grab... Those. Yeah. I think that works pretty well. Yeah. Five down. Well... Let's load up another one and see if I can do it. I was not expecting to get through this many. Uh, cargo box. Okay. I don't think this one's going to work. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like this ship might not be able to have one. At least until... So, something that Grozob's working on, uh, but hasn't yet gotten to work properly in multiplayer, is the thruster mod, instead of just being blocks, will actually be a one-time placeable part that places the thruster so it's something that we could put in a cargo so I can give you small grid ones to steal as well. The There'd be a script running with the mod that then deletes it from your inventory and places the whole block. That block has a special component in it that's the first component placed. If you don't have that component, you can't place that block. So the only way to take these blocks from these ships is to move them over with merge blocks or similar methods like that. So, but he's, if that works, then a ship like this could have one of these thrusters on board because I could just put it inside the cargo of something in here. I could put it in one of these, um, like I'd replace these with a more generic cargo and put it in there, that sort of thing, which I'm really hoping he can manage to get working. But obviously, no pressure for Grozob because that's, yeah, a lot of work and not a simple thing either. I'm stuck. So yeah, that hopefully will be a thing we can do in the future. So maybe for these ships where, like this one, uh, I will not completely redesign it because that would need a full refit. For it to work with it being a um a thruster carrier so that one i think we will just leave 
And I did forget to rename this one. Ah, uh, yeah, Raging Dragon, that, that idea could work with a lot of blocks. That idea could allow you to run a scenario where you have to find every special block and you can only build armor. That sort of thing. Like, there's heaps and heaps of stuff that you could do with that, uh, that concept if you can get it working reliably. Right. This one. This one should be relatively simple. I think. Because these are fake cargo containers anyway. So I can just place a thruster in the middle of them. If I can work out how to get in there without breaking the ship. Wait, is there a sneaky thruster in there? I did put a sneaky thruster in there. Okay, so... What we need is that. Then that. Then that. And I could just put a thruster in there. That feels a bit lame. I don't like it. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it that way. It just feels like it's hacked on rather than actually a design element. And I don't like it. So instead, what I think I should do is try and figure out which way this thing goes. Which way is forward? I think that way is forward. I think that's the main cockpit. That's a secondary one. That's a, another secondary one. So, what I'm thinking is get rid of both that and that. Then redesign these both to look like they could both be holding thrusters, but only one is holding a thruster. Um, so, Eisen, one of, it's true, not all of them do need to be special transports, um, but one of the reasons I was thinking that all of them could be is then you're not looking for a specific spawn. Then you're not just going to ignore one type of ship because you know it never has the special on board. Uh, what I'd like to do is make it so that every ship is a potential target. So that you're not waiting around and hoping you get the special one. You're just like, oh, there's an opportunity here. Because I've seen a ship spawn. I'll go in and hope it's the one that's the variant. Uh, that, that's kind of where my head was at with the deciding to do this for all of them. Um, even though I knew it was going to create a huge amount of extra work. Hey, sorry. <laughs> I was actually talking to Nab about your feelings on um, Night of the Dead the other day. And Scampak and I played it a couple of weeks ago. Come on, show me the blocks. There we go. Uh, actually, maybe these 
Maybe I could do this. Uh, where's my piston? There it is. Even though these don't actually aren't actually going to be connected to another merge block, I should be able to do this. Now it looks a bit more like a cargo clamp because it's got the little attachment points. Yeah. Yeah, that sells it a lot better, doesn't it? Enjoyed the basic mechanics, but and that there is more of a story. However, it felt like it was still a still clumsy. Yeah, I'd I'd agree with that uh, assessment of Night of the Dead. Sorry. Um, it does feel a bit clumsy, but it does also feel a bit... It is still fun. Um, I found it was a nice... Nice game for... Uh, every now and then. Hopefully it, kind of, it turns into something that's a bit more in-depth, like... Um, like Seven Days is, but... It's still a bit of fun for smashing zombies with big, giant, spinning mallets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it says palate cleanse of seven days. That's exactly right. I completely agree. Uh, let's put a little bit more detail in here. I think that kind of works. I feel like I need something on top of the merge blocks up here, though. Like, these need something there, but I'm not sure. Feels a bit clumsy. It's a little bit better. Yeah. Now let's look from underneath and see what I need to do down here. need to be this. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> building, any building game, it's all about the amount of time and I, I'd be surprised if you uh, end up spending as much time in Space Engineers as I've already spent. <laughs> getting close to 4,000 hours. Made a shark ship. Oh, cool. Oh, there was... There were some really awesome koi ships with similar sort of... The tails would move that were made by someone a while back. Um, they were an absolute clang nightmare, but... Still pretty cool. I think, like, my tip for people who are starting out in any building game is find, find something you want to build something that looks like. And then try it. If it doesn't work, go... If Assuming you're playing in creative mode. If you don't think the visuals work, go bigger. The bigger you go, the more blocks you have to play with and the more you can match. And then over time, as you get better and better at building stuff because you've played more and more of the game, you can then shrink it down and get something that's more believable at a smaller scale. Because I think the hardest thing to do in any game is build something compact that looks good. Because you just don't have the tools available in order to make that happen. Why are you not displaying... Uh oh. Are you multiple grids? Nope. 
You're not. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If if you make something small that looks good, it's a moment that you just have this little little bit of pride. <laughs> Does this not have an antenna? Because this should be showing on HUD. Why are you not showing on HUD? The antenna's on. I'm so confused. Does anyone have any idea why this might not be working? It's a single grid. Uh, broadcasting, broadcasting. Show on hard. Hmm. Oh, my character's antenna's off, but the other ones are showing. It's only that one that's not. Wait a second, the Bulldogs one's not showing. And the Bison. What are you doing to me, game? This is the same grid. Why is it not working across a merge block? That's weird. That's really weird. I'll try something just to see if it is the merge blocks, even even when they're paired like they are here. And it is actually the same grid. Uh, where have I got? There we go. Oh no, now it's showing up. What? Uh... Okay, it's clearly just a bug. Uh, and it's not consistently showing up. Because the pasted one shows and the other one doesn't. Weird. <laughs> oh, sorry. You don't have to take the blame. That's why we've got hashtag blame Capac. It's always hashtag blame Capac. It's the solution to everything. Especially when it has no possibility whatsoever that it could have anything to do with him. And even more so when he's around and <laughs> you can hear me blame him. Oh, I, I went as far with the hashtag blame capac that I made a t-shirt of it. There we go. Now they're all showing up. With a reload. That is definitely a bug. Cool. Anyway. <laughs> That's a thing. <sighs> well, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this progress. I've managed to do this today, and I managed to do the other setups. Um, I will likely come and do some more Seven Days Ravenhurst streaming tomorrow morning, maybe? Uh, unless I decide to do a recording, but I'll let people know in the Discord. Capac and I'll be back on Friday. We're going to be playing some Avorian, because it's got a nice new update that hopefully we'll be able to play the beta of on... Friday, because it's getting released on Thursday. 
So fingers crossed that's actually before the stream. <laughs> Otherwise, Avora will be next week. Um, it's something I've been wanting to play for a while, and I think the new changes that are coming with the 2.0 update will make it a lot more fun to play. So there's all that, and plenty more to come. And I will flick my camera around by accident, and see you then. Have a great day, everybody. Or night, or evening, or whatever time it is. <laughs>